I picked the wrong day to wear this shirt because we're probably going to barely talk about this company. So you know what? <laughs> well, at least we'll be talking about this company, kind of. But um, it's more based on the kind of rumors we've been hearing. I got the source from uh, Game Explained mostly, and they got it from somebody else. So you can go watch their video if I link it in the description below. But, um... Basically, there's a huge rumor going around that Microsoft and Nintendo are actually going to let themselves... Well, Microsoft is going to be able to let their Xbox Game Pass go on the Nintendo Switch. And the first part of the rumor, which sounds like the most likely, would be um, that they allow the streaming service that they are eventually going to announce here soon to work on the Nintendo Switch if you link your Microsoft account with your Nintendo account. And... Um, that would be pretty neat. The second option, which I really hope in my head would be if, if they allow you to somehow play some older or compatible games by downloading them. And that sounds like a wet dream for two reasons. One, Nintendo Switch does not have the power capability of an, even a base Xbox One. So that's kind of out of the window. But we could also play 360 games on there because... I'm pretty sure the Nintendo Switch is more than capable than playing Xbox 360 games. And if they allow you to download even those kind of games, that would be incredibly insane. And it would actually be kind of reasonable because the second point I was going to say was the huge download sizes of Xbox One games would completely contradict the type of style. Let me grab it. Of the freaking Nintendo Switch. And I didn't mean to turn it on. So, this thing has 32 gigs and a game on the Xbox One. Even before the 4K patches, hey look, you're seeing a reflection of myself. Um, well exceeds freaking like 50 gigabytes minimum. But games like the Xbox 360, on the Xbox 360, sorry, um, are sometimes no less than even 7. And 7 are pretty big games too, but with that micro SD card here, you can actually fit some games on there. And if they allow you to download games from the Xbox Pass, Game Pass, that are 360 compatible, like Halo, for example, because they do like allow the Halo Combat Evolve Anniversary on the Xbox Game Pass, and I think they technically allow the Master Chief Collection, but I meant like standalone games. Imagine playing that on here. That would be freaking insane. Now, some of the other rumors say that they're going to start publishing some Microsoft exclusive games to the Switch. That sounds like more of a wet dream, just like the being able to play the games. I mean, downloading the games. But still, if that's true, I at least would love to see like the Rare Replay games natively supported on here through Xbox Game Pass. Or Halo. The Halo Trilogy, maybe. You know, they couldn't... They can't do the Master Chief Collection. They could just emulate the first, the second, and the third games. Or maybe the first and the third, because technically that was released on a 360, but you get what I mean. That would be freaking insane. Imagine playing those kinds of awesome exclusive games on your freaking Switch. And I gotta stop, I gotta drop this before I hurt somebody by accident. That would be freaking nuts! Because I haven't really used my Xbox One in ages. It's just sitting right there, kind of helping my other system collect dust, you know. So my other systems don't collect so much dust. But, um... That would give me a good reason to want to play some Microsoft games again and maybe resubscribe to Xbox Live because I have had no reason to. A lot of the friends I have don't really use my their Xbox as much anymore and if we want to play something online, we just play on the PC because it's the master race. But, um, yeah, I just... I just wanted to throw that rumor out there because I personally, if it's if it's true, even the just the streaming capability, which I don't even know I have the internet for that. I'm pretty sure a lot of people in the world don't have the internet for that. But if even that part was true, it'd be nuts because then I could just, I want to play Forza. If they ever get Forza 4 on the freaking Gantt backwards compatibility list, that would be, my life would be complete playing Forza on the Switch. But playing any Forza game on the Switch sounds like a dream come true. Of course, they they do associate problems because you don't have analog triggers on these things. Look, I grabbed it again. But that could be, you know, that could be fixed by playing with, like, the GameCube controller. Or they could add native support for the Xbox One controller. 
which would be revolutionary in my opinion. And this could change the outlook on Nintendo and Microsoft and their company retrospectives for like the next few years. I was about to say all time, but that's really exaggerating it a bit. But I just wanted to throw that out there for anybody who didn't get the news. That sounds like an awesome rumor to have be true. And the last thing I actually wanted to point out is they haven't officially announced it yet. And guess what? It's only a matter of time before we get at the second Fighter Pass fighter for Super Smash Brothers. And if they announce this streaming Xbox One Game Pass announcement thing on a Nintendo Direct anytime soon, or just in general, guess what they could announce with it? A Microsoft character as DLC. And that means we could get someone like Banjo Kazooie. We could get somebody like Master Chief. People always kind of say he's not a viable fighter, and I could see the reasons why. I could agree with the reasons why he wouldn't be, but having somebody like Snake kind of makes Master Chief almost a viable thing. I mean, I even played mods where on in um, in Smash Bros. Brawl where I replaced Snake with Master Chief skin, so that's not out of the realm of possibility. And they have a whole bunch of other IPs they could rip from. People always assume, according to the data mine, that Minecraft Steve might be a friggin' playable fighter within the fighter pass here, and this could be the right time to announce him along with this so-called announcement. So that just makes your mind warble back and forth and through the cosmos and through the dimensions to see what the hell Microsoft and Nintendo are scheming to help the consumer and help their wallets grow. Because no matter what they do, there isn't really a wrong way you could do this. The worst the worst thing that comes out of this is I would have to finally probably pay for Nintendo Online, which I've been refusing to do so because it's not worth it to me. I'd have to redo Xbox Game Pass, and I don't know if Game Pass requires you to have Xbox Live Gold, which I'd have to have a subscription for that. And that means it would require three subscriptions to even get Xbox stuff working on your Switch. But in the end, it might be worth it because the huge library they would allow you to access would be a pretty good deal, especially if they only charge you $9.99 a month, plus the $20 a year for Nintendo Online, and then the $60 a year on top of Xbox Live. That's actually not too bad of a deal, especially since you're getting another console's games almost on a completely other system. Even then, if this isn't true, we know that they're doing it for other devices, for like smart TVs, or hell, even your phone. They, I don't, I don't remember seeing any footage, but I remember people talking about them showing off playing Halo on your phone because they streamed it to the device and they said they're making specialized controllers just for phones so you can play Xbox games on your phone. Even that alone sounds like an experience unlike another. But that's all that I wanted to talk about. I'm pretty sure I've dragged on long enough because I've kind of regurgitated the same thing as a thousand other YouTubers have and I've regurgitated the same sentences in different ways for the last, I don't know, five, six minutes, however long this recording's been. So, I just leave you with your thoughts, and if you have any thoughts, post them in the description below, because I like to know. I like to know those kind of things. And, uh, I guess in the meantime, I will probably see you next time. Click on some videos right here, in here. Check out my channels right below there. Extra 76 will probably be right here. My main channel will probably be right there. Time to switch back to the PlayStation shirt!